Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We are live. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Frank. My name is Frank Kramer. I'm the founder of Eat Like a Vegan Chef. And uh, I'm the founder of uh, Eat Like a Vegan Chef again. And uh, today we are going to cook a Thanksgiving loaf. So the theme is Thanksgiving. And um, I will answer all your questions when it comes to Thanksgiving. And um, let's wait a few more minutes until everyone is here. And then we get cooking. Welcome, everyone. If you don't mind introducing yourself, so I know you're there. Oh, hello, Iris. Wie geht's dir? Schön, dich zu sehen. Um, hi, Stacy. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Devonda. How are you doing? Hi, Linda. Hi, Rifa. Hi, Dicey. Wow, coming in fast. Nice, nice. Excellent, excellent. Um, wonderful. And we have our Instagram um, audience here as well. Wonderful. Hi from Germany. Wie geht es? Okay. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Joan. Beautiful. Okay. So again, today we are going to uh, cook um, a Thanksgiving theme. And uh, I will answer all your questions when it comes to Thanksgiving. I will give you a few, you know, hints what, what you can do. Um, I know I have been approached by many of you um, to post some Thanksgiving dishes. And uh, I will, I will actually, I have, I have posted already some. I just have to press the, uh, the um, publish button, but uh, they will be definitely uh, posted this afternoon. Hi, Melon. Hi, Candy. Hi, Jean. Hi, Kanika, Bani. How are you doing? Thank you for joining. Hi, Nancy. Okay, let's let's get ready. Um, okay, so today I have planned to do a, a, a loaf, a vegetable loaf. And, um, you know, there, there's quite a lot of recipes out there, um, lentil loaves and, and, and all kind of stuff. So I thought, you know, I, I don't want to copy anyone, but, uh, you know, do my own twist of recipe here and what i um, came up with is a gabanzo bean seven grain loaf mixed with all kind of vegetables and uh, so let's see how it comes out and uh, that's actually my uh, my first time i do this particular recipe because i i wanted to come up with something new so let's see how this comes up and uh, but before we start, I would like to mention that we have planned another challenge. And uh, based on the success of last times of the last challenge we had, which was absolutely incredible, uh, we got so many incredible reviews. Um, and I have been asked to uh, to do another challenge. So we do one right after Thanksgiving. I will announce the date um in a few days so i think you can already sign up on my web page um but i will give you a little bit more information and i will post an additional post to that okay good um hi randy oh thank you so much that's so nice of you um okay good Great. We have the boy goddess. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for joining. Okay, good. Let's get cooking. Okay, for the uh, hi, Regina. For the uh, for the loaf, I'm going to saute um, onions, carrots, garlic, uh, zucchini, and mushrooms first. 
and then I'm going to add all the other ingredients. So the main, obviously, the ingredient, uh, the protein here is garbanzo beans, and I have a seven grain mixture, which which you can buy in any kind of supermarket, which is, um, you know, it's 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 quinoa in there, wild rice. Uh, I think it's barley, all kind of different grains. So it's interesting, uh, and it gives the uh, the loaf some texture. Okay, and we serve this loaf with a mushroom sauce, and you just uh, serve it with whatever side dishes you would like. And we will go into this right after we, we uh, assemble this loaf. Okay. Let's heat our pan. And you know, as usual, you know I cook without oil. Um, we, uh, we're trying to focus on a whole food, plant-based um, diet, so to speak. Um, it's not a diet. It is, it is really, um, you know, a whole food, plant-based lifestyle where we try to use only whole food ingredients instead of Know, processed foods. So instead of cooking a totofu turkey, um, we are just going to do something from scratch. So it's uh, the least processed and obviously a lot healthier. Okay. Let's put the onions in. It's about one cup of onions. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to the onions so they don't burn. That's what we do. We I add a little water to it so the onions don't burn. But I'm on the same token, I'm gonna wait until the water disappears and the onions caramelize slightly, and then I'll add the next set of ingredients. Now I'm going to add my carrots. My carrots I cut in in very small uh, granules. I mean dices. So you can actually, if you want, you can put it in the in the um, food processor. That's fine too. Or you can grate them too. I like to add a little bit of celery too. It gives it its nice, healthy flavor.
I'm going to add a little water to it. Just keep it hydrated. You can also use broth. That's fine. Low no sodium broth. Vegetable broth. That works too. Okay. Just checking if I have any comments here. Yes, Jacqueline, I will post the recipe later in the membership. Just to explain, we um, I have all the recipes uh, posted in my membership where we all, you know, pick our where our meal planner is in. Uh, every week, I produce a meal planner with shopping list um, and all the recipes. Um, they are posted in the membership, and um, this is actually in our weight loss uh, program. And everyone is waiting um, to get the new recipes for the next week so they can shop. And then usually I have a batch cooking on a Sunday for all the members. So there's actually quite a lot going on in the membership. But uh, just in case you're wondering, you know, why people are asking, where are the recipes? Sometimes I post them on my blog, um, but most recipes are featured in my membership. And the reason why why I post them in my membership is just simply um, the members have grown, you know, accustomed to it to see to see my recipes, the meal plan, uh, and the shopping list. It, it's so much easier for them, you know, to plan for next week. So from that point of view, it's it's. Very easy. Okay, so the next one are the mushrooms. The mushrooms, it's it is about one cup, which I cut into you know rough pieces. This goes in. And then spinach is the last vegetable to boil. So I want to make sure that all vegetables are nice and tender because for the loaf, it's, it's very important that um, the vegetables are soft. If they are still too al dente, um, the, the loaf will not stay together. So it's very important that all the ingredients are not too soft, but in a way that they stick nicely together. See if we have any questions here. Oh, that's fine. It's a great membership to be part of. If you are not a member, consider becoming a member. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much, Devonda. Thank you. The spinach in. And I would like to add okay. adding a little bit of cumin to it. Or a teaspoon or half a teaspoon 
quarter teaspoon of curry, just a little. I, I just want this Mediterranean flavor in there, but that's it. Uh, turmeric, maybe just a quarter teaspoon. That's it for now. Okay, so you see this is how the mixture looks right now. And that's good enough. So now I have my bowl here where I'm going to add one cup of my seven grains. This goes in. About a cup of garanzo beans. Bit. So what I would like to do with this here, this goes into the uh, food processor. But um, I'm just going to pulse it a few times. I don't want it mixed too fine. I want some kind of consistency in here. Unfortunately, I don't have a food processor here, so I'm going to put it in my bullet. See, this is what I got here. Not too bad. I'll put it back in here. Now I'm going to add a quarter cup of um, flax meal. This is sort of sweet my egg. Once it, it binds with the moisture inside, it makes everything, brings everything together. And uh, Mix it up. See, now I have a mixture of some beans and some of the um, pulled beans. Okay, I should really let the vegetables cool out a little bit. And you know what? We will do that. And meanwhile, we want, want to start the mushroom sauce, which I'm going to serve over the loaf. Okay, for that, I'm going to saute about half a cup of onions. And a little garlic. Okay. Any questions so far? 
I picked my red onions today. I pickled my red onions. That's great. Uh, love black beans and red onions. Yeah, you can use black beans too if you like. Um, how did you cook the grains? You know, I, the grains I had previously cooked. So you just have to follow the instructions on the back. It's, it's, it's usually um, 40 minutes or so. It depends what kind of grains you have in there. Sometimes they're faster. Sometimes they're pre-cooked. Um, but these are whole grains. Um, they took about 40 minutes. It, it all depends what kind of uh, whole grains you buy. Okay, Anjana is asking what I'm making. I'm making a Thanksgiving loaf um, made from carrots, celery, mushrooms, spinach, uh, gabanzo beans, a seven grain mixture made from whole wheat, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, brown rice, barley, quinoa, and a few other grains, um, flax meal, and spelt flour. So and I'm going to serve this with a mushroom sauce. See how the onions are slightly caramelizing? That's what I want in this, this case. I want my mushroom sauce to get as much flavor as possible. That's why I'm caramelizing um, my onions and later my mushrooms as well. Okay. I went shopping for Whole Foods today, not that place. Actually, there's a, um, Kenny, there's a good question. There is one uh, at Aldi, they sell a seven, seven grain um, blend. Did you get everything at Whole Foods? No, I did not, I did not. Actually, I, I got some food at, at Aldi and some foods at Whole Foods. Now we put in the onions. Actually, this in. Okay. And of course, we want to add a little bit of salt. Um, it, it's up to you. Salt is always optional for those of you who are doing a SOS diet so it's it's completely up to you you know I yesterday I got a got an order from Whole Foods and I was I was very disappointed um, but three or four of the items were were almost spoiled so not not quite fond of it right now. They they really have to convince me. I don't I don't think it's going to happen in New York, but um, I'm in Tampa right now, so it's I don't know. I, I didn't like this. So remember, we want to caramelize the onions and the mushrooms so we get as much flavor as possible in here. You see how everything is caramelizing nicely? So that's what I want. And that's all without oil. Water. 
you, as you see, I only cook with water. You can use low sodium broth if you like, but by, by using water, I, uh, I create my own broth instantly, so to speak. Um, every, because I, as you can see, I let it caramelize. Every, every time I let a vegetable caramelize, it creates flavor. If I add water to it, then I release this flavor from the pan into the sauce. So I don't really need I don't really need vegetable vegetable broth. Um, you can absolutely. Questions, Marianos. In Chicago, is always provided the best produce for pickup orders. Nice, nice. Yeah, you see what what I suspect is, and I, I don't want to I don't want to put them down, but you know most supermarkets who deliver, um, they try to get rid of the stuff what what needs to go first, and I I'm not very fond of that. That's I, I'm not saying anyone is doing it, but clearly I have seen it with my order yesterday. Okay, so now I'm going to add, I have made some uh, marinara sauce, actually tomato sauce first, yesterday, and I'm gonna add this to it. We're almost here, almost ready. I'm gonna just let this cook for a little bit. Now I'm going to add my vegetables to my grain mixture. I'm gonna mix it up all. So now I have to add a little bit of spelt flour. I didn't put it in yet because I wanted to see how much exactly I need. It always sometimes it varies how wet your vegetables are. If your vegetables are pretty dry, you don't need as much flour. See? They are this. Still pretty loose, but they with the flour. <clears throat> and eventually, I have to use my my hands to. <clears throat> I have a dry throat. Now. See here, we want we want to see that it becomes sticky. That's what we want. See, this is what we want. <clears throat> and I haven't even put in all of my flour in, so I probably put in two two tablespoon in. Now you can use oat flour or any or almond flour, whatever you like. I just had spelt flour. I like spelt flour. Okay, beautiful. Okay. So you know how the mixture looks like. It's really sticky. That's what I want.
So now I'm going to, can you see that? Okay, I'm going to put the mixture right on top of a foil, or you can you can do it on a piece of um, plastic saran wrap. I'm going to spread it out. Evenly, so that it becomes about a quarter of an inch thick. So now I have a spinach pesto, so to speak. So it's just garlic, spinach, um, and I pour it right here, sort of as a filling, so to speak, to give it a little bit more flavor. Because we have spinach inside, we have garlic inside. That's good. Then I have some garbanz, uh, I'm sorry, zucchini dices, which I'm going to spread all over here. And they're not cooked. They will cook in the oven when we bake this whole thing. And to finish this, we're going to add some dried, sun dried tomatoes. So this is what I did. Underneath is the 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 mixture, the, the grain mixture and the vegetable mixture. And on top, in a in a, on top of here, I added the the spinach pesto, um, zucchini, and sun dried tomatoes. You could add if you wanted to add a little bit of soil if you didn't put enough in some black pepper. And now we're trying to adjust the camera a little bit. I'm trying to roll it up. Good thing to turn the open on. I'm gonna roll it up with the help of my foil paper. And now you can see that, see that, and roll it in, like that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to fold it a little together here at the end.
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of water because I don't want my loaf to, to, to stick onto the bottom. And if you wanted, you, you, you could have put some uh, almonds or walnuts in the, in the uh, filling. That's actually pretty good too. So this is the loaf. It's pretty simple. And I put a little water in here on the bottom, maybe a little bit more. And now I put it in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes. That's it, and it's going to be served with my mushroom sauce. Okay. <laughs> the one uh, chef makes look uh, makes cooking look so easy, but I'm trying. But I try; it's not so easy. When I try, it's not too easy. Um, no, come on. It's I, I I try to make easy things. I mean, it's it's. Uh, we're not taking apart any any kind of uh, difficult things here, so I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Um, wonder, wow! I wonder if I can do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Nancy. The loaf looks good. Thank you. Um, can you eat berries or melons on this challenge? Yeah, of course, yeah. Or we lose, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's what we eat all day long. We eat fruits all day, yeah. That's what our breakfast consists of. Um, obviously, I haven't promoted melons right now because they're not in season anymore. So from that point of view, I, I try to promote seasonal products. Um, we're now going into pears, apples, and, and uh, grapes. So there's not too many fruits out there. Obviously, you find them in a supermarket, you buy them, that's fine. But I, you know, I find it's very important that, you know, by living uh, on seasonal products, first of all, it's budget friendly. You, you're not gonna spend as much money. And you also, um, you know, you live more sustainable. You know, if you compare Let's say you buy a tray of or a pound of strawberries. They came four, from 4,000 miles away uh, because there's no more strawberries here. So you actually support those kind of uh, transport. I, I mean, restaurants use it all the time. And I understand we, I used to be, when I used to work in a restaurant, we, we did the same because the guest is, uh, is requesting it, but uh, you know I, I'm trying to promote a sustainable lifestyle, and by doing so, it's going to be cheap on your wallet, and it's going to be um, you know more sustainable for everyone. Thank you, Vicky. Okay, good. Um, Yeah, Devonda saying, but cooking can be challenging for some. Yeah, no, of course, I absolutely agree. But you see, you guys asked me to do something for Thanksgiving, and I'm I'm not gonna give you um, a simple vegetable stew. I, I cannot do that. So I gotta give you something a little bit more um, nicer. And I promise you, you do this, you're not gonna have an issue. It's gonna be very simple. If you follow exactly what I did. You're gonna you're gonna ace it for sure. Okay, good. Um, well, you know what? I I posted a poll in in the uh, my whole food plant based journey, which is our one of our uh, Facebook groups, 
And uh, the poll was about, would you do another challenge? And the question was, would you do a five day, seven day or 10 day challenge? And we were so convinced that most people would go for a five day. And it's actually the opposite. Most people would go for a 10 day. The last challenge was 14 day. Um, and I, I think it was it, it was awesome. It opened up a lot of opportunities for a lot of people. Um, so this time, that's because it's be, before the holidays. I I think we we should keep it a little shorter. Uh, I I personally thought five five days would be fine, but if ten days is fine, I know we do have the. Uh, we have Hanukkah coming up very early this year. So I, I don't know if, if it makes sense to make a 14 day or 10 day challenge because it would go probably right into that. And I, I don't think I don't think that's the right way to do it. But hey, you know, if you you let me know and um, I, I think the best way is if we do a five or seven day challenge and we stop right on or one day before Hanukkah, which is, I believe, the 10th. Because I, you know, I I don't want to get into anyone's holiday. You know, no one would do a, a you know, a challenge over Easter or Christmas or whatever. So so why should we do it over Hanukkah? And I, um, I'm just trying to be open and, and see how everyone is, what, what their opinions are. But uh, I would like to do a challenge. So that um, that challenge is sort of um, the beginning of a new year. <laughs> Stacy is saying, I'm, I'm, staying, I'm trying to stay vegan during Hanukkah. Uh, no latkes or donuts for me. Good job, Stacy. Excellent, excellent. Um, yeah, so the, the the plan is that we are going to, you know, the weight loss program is going to continue regardless. It's going to continue 365 days. But um, the next challenge is sort of a beginning where we all, where we all start everything again. Um, but then we know we have the holidays and we know they're cheating days and, and that's all fine. So the challenge in November or December will be just the beginning of getting into the New Year's resolution. And then we start January 2nd with our ultimate Eat Like a Vegan Chef challenge. And I think this is going to be totally awesome. So, but I, I was just curious how, how, uh, uh, how many people would vote for a five, seven or 10 day challenge. Thank you so much for that. Um, okay, let's see. What we have here. That's good. Yesterday on my walk in the neighborhood, someone put out apples from the garden as a gift to anyone to enjoy. That is so nice. Excellent. Yeah, you're right, um, Deb. Long before food became an industry, everyone would eat locally and seasonally because that's all there was. I totally agree. And this, to me, is the only way we should be eating. And um, that's my own, my own thought. Um, <laughs> okay, Candy is saying we love, we love the loaf. We, we we just want ours to look as good as yours. It will, it will. I know, I know, Devon. I know you're not complaining. No worries. I know. <laughs> it's all fun. Okay, let's see what we else what else we have here. In the challenge for those of us who did the last one or more, 
Is this challenge for those of us who did the last one or more for new people? No. Um, any, I, I, would, I would recommend you taking part in the new challenge again because it will refresh your spirit. It will refresh, you know, whatever we have done before. I am still thinking if I go with a similar menu or completely new menu, obviously I'm not going to repeat what we did, what you guys did in the last challenge because some of the vegetables are no longer in season. But uh, uh, the more, if, if you, here, the concept is that uh, anyone who started the challenge is probably in for the long haul. You, you don't want to do just two weeks and then you forget about it. So that's why you have all uh, joined the membership. So by continuing, you maintaining this lifestyle. And then we have another challenge that will reinforce what you have learned in your two weeks challenge, because it's a lot of stuff we go through. And I, you know, now we're going to repeat what we did about uh, two, two months ago. Um, so it's gonna, um, you, you, you actually get stronger in, you know, in your idea of keeping this concept alive. And the more challenges, challenges you do, the better you get at it. And it becomes all uh, a way of life. So that's my opinion. And I think the more challenges you do, um, the more success you will have. And on top of that, your success will inspire all the new members to do well. So I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a great way to continue. But it's a good question. Thank you. Carmen is saying, hopefully the new year will have reach my weight or loss goal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how long do you cook the loaf? About 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. Good, okay. Um, what else? So there's, I just wanted to um, talk about a few things. Um, Thanksgiving. Most people get nervous because, oh, I have to make a protein. You know, everyone comes because the turkey has been made the object of Thanksgiving. Since we don't eat turkey or any other meats, we have to think out of the box. That's why we do the loaf. But even, even if you don't want to do the loaf, if you, if you really be honest, what is the most delicious thing on your Thanksgiving table. To me, yes, it, maybe it used to be the turkey, but if you're really honest, it's the side dishes. The side dishes is what really killing it. It's the, the cranberries. It's uh, the stuffing, which you can make separate. And you don't have to put any chicken stock or anything in there. Um, the Brussels sprouts, the green beans, whatever, vegetables, the pumpkin, the pumpkin pie, the, uh, the, the uh, acorn squash soup, whatever you want to do, you know, this is all part of Thanksgiving. And usually those things are much uh, tastier than the turkey themselves. So from that point of view, I, I want you to get away from thinking that you need to have this protein because it's, to me, that's, it, that's not what it is all about. Absolutely, if you if you can make whatever loaf you want to do, um, that's great. But uh, it's it's because any side dish is our main course. Let's see it this way. It's a fact. Any side dish is our main course, and uh, so we have to get away. In my opinion, we have to get away from this thinking. Oh, I need protein. You know, we get our protein from all the vegetables we eat. So we just have to be creative. You know, for instance, with the cranberry sauce, you don't necessarily have to do just a boring cranberry sauce. Add some mango to it, you know, or 
whatever you feel like and make it interesting okay then for instance i i love a, a simple apple dessert so you take the apple you core the apple and you fill it with a mixture of granola and uh, trail mix and fill it and you roast it in the oven with a little bit of liquid in there uh, until it becomes tender and then you serve it with a vanilla sauce mm. that's beautiful so there's there's so many so many things you can do for thanksgiving and uh, that's just my take on it okay good um let's see i missed a lot of comments here Okay, so I just, there's so many comments here. Let me just uh, catch up on those. Okay, Candy saying that sounds good, reinforcing uh, what we have learned. Uh, do we sign up somewhere again? Uh, no, members, you do not have to sign up for the challenge because you have access to the library. You So you automatically... I will I will send you an email uh, where where the challenge is, where uh, you find all the content, so you don't have to sign up again. But uh, for for new members, obviously they need to sign up in order to get access to the membership. So the obviously the uh, however long the challenge is, seven days, ten days, it's free to start, and if they want to continue they can they can join the membership or they can join the membership from the beginning um, and get access to all the content in there and now the content is growing day by day so it's there's a lot of stuff in there a lot of helpful stuff which makes it worthwhile to get access to um, good what else I'm still losing weight, just eating this way, and without the oils and sugar being as a vegan, as a vegan already. Excellent, Jacqueline, wonderful. Uh, being a member keep me on track, and I surround myself with like-minded people. Thank you, Vicky. That's that's great. Um, okay, what is the temperature of the oven? It's 400 degrees. I don't have a dressing, I have a sauce, Vicky. I'm gonna talk about it again. Okay, then we have, for various reasons, mostly healthy plant related, I have fallen off our wagon, off our wagon a few many times, but I still plan to get back each time and keep going. I want to see the changes in our blood work after we have been fairly diligent for several weeks. So I plan on staying with the whole food plant-based vegan lifestyle indefinitely. It will take me a long time to adjust to all this involves. You know, that that's fine. You know, as long as you think, as long as you see, you, uh, you see a positive thing in uh, this lifestyle, go ahead. You know, no one is asking you or no one is pushing you to, to uh, you know, you know, to do anything. Take your time. You know, if you fall off the wagon, you come back on. That's it. The membership is right there for you. Nothing is going to go away. You, you have, you will always have access to it. And um, so, from that point of view, no one is pushing you. And the good thing is, you know what's good for you. So you you uh, uh, know where to get back to. Okay. Deb is saying, oh my God, I love stuffing. I rarely eat that turkey meat on turkey, on turkey day. We prefer it cold later and absolutely agree. It's always have been about the side dishes, which are more, which, which are more produce based, yes. Uh, than anything else. Skipping the turkey will not be a hardship for me. Hubs can life. Hubs 
can live for weeks, can live for weeks on turkey sandwiches after the turkey. Yeah, I know. That's what all of us do, or used to do. I mean, I was never a fan of turkey, but um, I think it would be hard to avoid sugar even altered Thanksgiving meal. I would disagree. I would disagree. Um, when I talk about sugar, sugar is, you know, what you pour in from, uh, uh, you know, your, your sugar, what you buy from a supermarket. But you can implement dates or date sugar or um, maple syrup or uh, agave syrup, you know, small amounts. Not really, not really a lot, but once you implement it, our food is full of fibers. So um, it's okay. You're going to survive that, and, and, and I don't think you're going to um, kill your diet with this. Gene is so sad. No one in his family likes vegetables, but I do. I will keep trying. Gene, just, you know what? Um, just keep on going because there is uh, a lot of power in vegetables. There is, you know, the fact is, if you don't eat your vegetables, if you only eat meat and potatoes, whatever it is, or, you know, and not vegetables, you are on track to get all kind of um, chronic diseases. And that's not me who is saying that you can look it up. That's how it is. That's, and I can only tell you that if you eat by example, so to speak, and that's what I try to do in my family or, you know, when I used to work at the hotel, I, I try to eat by example so that others can, you know, get inspired and do the same. Um, obviously, in your case, they're not inspired. They're just, um, they don't like vegetables. But in the end, when you go to the doctor and you get your results, your stellar results, and they're going to look at you, how did you do that? Did you just eat vegetables? Yes, that's why. So from that point of view, it's, uh, once the doctor is telling them, you know, you got to watch your cholesterol, you got to watch your diabetes or your A1C, whatever it is. Um, that's when they come to you and say, you know what, what did you do? How did you do this? And I know it's, it's very sad that it has to be this way, but um, that's the kind of society we live in. Um, we have, you can, you can see that the hospitals are packed with, with people who are sick and uh, the doctors subscribe uh, just a band-aid for, for things which we, re we could really solve um, with food, okay? So high cholesterol, uh, you can solve with food. Um, diabetes, di uh, type two diabetes, you can solve with food. Um, heart disease, again, I'm not a doctor. I cannot tell you what to do. You will gotta go and get your own prescription uh, from your doctor, but if you eat like a vegan chef, and you can change a lot of things. But I cannot tell you how to heal certain things because I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you how to cook and live a healthy lifestyle. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, can you say yes, new friends? Uh, I think it would be hard to avoid sugar. Yeah, we had this. Um, also, the Dial Organic Turkey cost me $63 last year. Um, well, you have to come to New York. You, you, you spend a lot more money for an organic turkey. Um, this group helps me to stay accountable. Nice, Kimeta. Excellent. Um, Brenda, you will. I did also but I'm staying with the program and slowly getting there. Nice, excellent, Brenda. Um, will we have more cooking classes like this for the recipes? Yes, absolutely. I will, we will have one this Sunday um, among our membership. It's the uh, um, 
batch cooking. That's that's when we cook for next to the following week, the exact same meal plan. And then uh, towards next week, next week Thursday, I'm going to have another Thanksgiving meal. So yes, there's more tissues coming. Being a pescatarian before the whole food plant-based, the, the turkey is not a problem for me. I never liked turkey anyway. Okay, my family members are dying at 50. Oh my goodness. You, you see, Gene, I, I, you know, I didn't even know that. But according to what you said, uh, I don't, I'm not surprised. And I don't understand. Is it, what is, what is so difficult to see that, uh, that makes people tick into the animal uh, direction, eating steaks, eating all that stuff and die at 50? So I, I think they don't associate that animal foods and, you know, uh, um, saturated fats are associated with chronic diseases. I guess they don't. So, and most doctors, even though they want the best for their, for their clients, they don't, they don't tell them or they don't have, they don't, they don't know what to tell them. Uh, but I'm not here to judge. It's, I think it's, it's sad that it has to come to that. Um, Carmen said, I have not cooked with sugar for many years. Excellent. And I do not miss it and find it hard. I do, however, use maple syrup in moderation. Excellent. Good. Yeah, that's fine. My family members, you know, we have that. I always use butter in my stuffing. Where did this go now? Um, what can I use instead? I use vegetable broth, onion, celery. Well, that's it. That's what you use. Um, the, the thing is, we are all used to the uh, satiating um, consistency of butter, oil, whatever it is. But we, we got to get away with this. We got to get away from, from that you know, what oil does for us. I, I know Julia Child said famously, butter is flavor. And I agree, you know, I, I was trained in classic French cuisine. I, I, I lived that for many, many years. For over 20 years, I, I cooked with butter and I swore on it. But, you know, time's changing. Okay. They want to sing. I don't think people realize meat is not good for them. And for some, they choose to eat it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, on rethinking that, my comment was in response to thinking of traditional Thanksgiving menus with things like apple and pumpkin pies, cranberry sauce, yeah, uh, sweet potatoes topped with brown marshmallow. Ugh. I will enjoy and look forward to vegan options and super options for those typical holiday dishes. Okay, I, I just wanted to touch base on this. This is a good point because um, very, oft, very often, I think it's almost there. Um, very often, they, uh, we, we associate the sugar in fruits or in vegetables as, as bad. And that's not the case. If if you eat, let's say, whatever food it is, apples, melons, oranges, doesn't matter, and you eat them whole, um, you're fine. It's, it's when you separate the, the sugar from the fibers, like the orange juice. You squeeze the oranges, you get the juice out of there. That's when you separate the fibers from the sugar, and that's not good for you. Yes, you might have some you still have some uh, vitamins in there, but you uh, you separate the two of them, meaning if you drink your orange juice, you flood your body with um, sugars all at once. So you, that's how you, your A1C spikes. But if you eat the orange just like that, then the fibers need to be broken down by your body and that will not um, spike your A1C. But it all depends. That 
only works if you do a whole food plant-based. If you eat meat, chicken, fish, or anything else, um, that's, that system doesn't work for you. So don't think that, uh, oh, you eat your whole fruit, uh, but you can eat your salmon or your steak. So it's still healthy, your fruit, but um, your A1C will still spike if you if you have your um, if you have your fruit. Okay. I have the same issue with my 15 year old son. He is an athlete, and he's convinced meat is healthy, and he eats so much each meal. Yeah. I mean, I used to do the same, same thing. Had robotic surgery on Wednesday at 8 a.m. and home by 3.30. My body was recovering so fast, but I, I'm resting and still eating a whole food plant-based, drinking plenty of water. Great, yeah, that's, you know what, that's what many athletes say that, um, that a whole food plant-based lifestyle you will recover much, much quicker from your exercises. Like, like I did, uh, I did a, a 12K on this Sunday and I had, you know, hadn't run a 12K in, in years. So I only run 5Ks or 7Ks, but uh, my, my legs were hurting a little bit, maybe an hour later, but that's it. I completely recovered. I didn't even felt it the next day. It was, um, that's the beauty of eating plant-based. So I wish you all the best, Jacqueline. Uh, be well. Do we use regular maple syrup or unsweetened, unsweetened one? Well, if you have unsweetened one, that's, that's a processed version. Um, you gotta go with the real deal. If you have to add sugar, well then then add your maple syrup or agave. I mean, it's up to you. Of course, absolutely, you can use the sugar free. It's just when you when you eat artificial sugars, you will crave sweets later on. You know, it's you're almost fooling your your system, saying you get sweets but then your body realizes, hmm, she tricked me there. And then you wanna crave the sugar later again. Okay, come, let's let's finish our loaf. That works. <clears throat> Let's finish our loaf. Okay. I think it was a little longer there. Yeah? I'm sure to you. Water is actually a little evaporated. Should have put a little bit more water there next time. Cut it in half.
Okay, I'm just going to heat up the tomato sauce here. That's it. So, I mean, it's very simple. You could, um, I mean, there's so many things you can fill the, um, this, this loaf with. You don't have to fill it with zucchinis. You could, you could actually do slices of zucchinis and put them along just like bacon and then you roll it up. You could do that too. So I think that would even look better than, than this one. But um, <laughs> Jean says, says he's drooling. Um, okay. Good. Okay. So that's that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to uh, answer them. I would say thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, you know where to find me, eatlikeavegenchef.com. And uh, you can find us here on Facebook, Eat Like a Vegan Chef, or Jawohl, ihr was, yeah. Da freue ich mich drauf. Ja. Das ist äh, meine Schwester aus Deutschland. Ähm, ich werde dich da mal anrufen. Was ist denn heute? Es ist schon 9 Uhr. Ja. Okay, gut. Uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, I'll see you. Some of you I'll see tomorrow. And the rest I'll see Sunday. Okay. Have a good day. That's it.